so he's saying that's a place to cultivate that kind of happiness and uh, to yeah, come here and, and to feel that this is what you do here, is to be happy by being very relaxed. <coughs> So, and then if you're walking around the stoop, of course, you're getting some exercise, which is good for you. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good one. I'm not sure if I'm going So, he said, you know, these days, if you say exercise, everybody perks up and thinks, oh, yes, exercise, you know, well, maybe some. But, <laughs> but if you say, you know, do circumambulation, people think, what? <laughs> but, oh, no, it's good. You can walk around the stoop. It's very, you know, very free place to walk around, you can get some exercise and you know, be in a relaxed place and people will understand that. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then as you walk around the stupa, that's benefiting you, your body and then it's benefiting your heart and mind. And uh, if you walk around in silence, then it's also benefiting your speech. So that um, in the Buddhist tradition, it's very important to be very mindful and aware of your body, your speech, and your mind and heart. And so if you're in the presence of the stupa and you're circumambulating the stupa, then actually it's very easy, very naturally, you are being aware and mindful of body, speech, and mind, the actions of body, speech, and mind. It's just very natural. You don't have to kind of make any special effort. So you just simply, it's practice just by itself, just to walk around the stupa in a relaxed way. So if you can start there, start with simply walking around the stupa in this very relaxed way, then <coughs> gradually by the power of the blessing of the, the, the stupa and the place, then you'll find that your, your mind opens up and you become more awake and aware just naturally so that uh, it will be of tremendous benefit.